We're talking about S-E-X, in front of the C-H-I-L-D-R-E-N. Sex Cauldron? I thought they closed that place down. <laughs> Talk Man Radio Fantasy Football Podcast. Hey, and welcome to the Talk Man Radio Week 12 Preview. Let's go over last week real quick, get this out of the way. I took Denver, that was horrible. Just pick against whatever I'm picking for you over the last three weeks. You should be all right. Uh, the other two, they did okay. Uh, Chicago's a push, uh, Giants win. Cleveland, Jacksonville, they split on that. And Green Bay plus two, that didn't work out. And Chicago plus three. Oh, well. So that's uh, what they picked over the over all the games of the fantasy guys. Hit and miss. So, uh, meh. But last week was a meh. Thanksgiving, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was horrible. Like I said, just pick against whatever I'm telling you to pick. Uh, I picked the first two. They were wrong. And uh, the Dallas looks horrible. And uh, we got uh, Washington right. So let's get into new games. New games this, this week. Week 12. Bucks at Falcons. Gotta like the Falcons in this. The Bucks are letting up 276 yards through the air. And the Falcons are trending upward. They're starting to win. You know, they, they've scored 27-34 in the last two games. Uh, Matt Ryan, two touchdowns, 275 yards. And we get Cleveland at Bengals. This looks pretty bad. I think it's going to be high scoring. These two teams, they, they'll get in there, you know, 38-31, something like that. But I like Cincinnati either way. I'll never pick the Browns this season. They look horrible. But I think Crowell's going to get a touchdown for the Browns because uh, – they're letting up a lot of yards on the ground, the Bengals are. So, uh, those are the picks. Titans at Colts. I think this is a rematch of Monday night game where uh, the Titans threw the ball around, threw that late touchdown, all that. I like Indy this game because they're at home. I think Brissett's going to get two touchdowns because I think, okay, you, you, no more luck. Go, go, go get a new job if you want. Here's your chance. So, I think he's going to throw two touchdowns. Buffalo at Kansas City. I like Kansas City in this game. Neither of these teams have won a game in November, and they're both landing up a ton of yards on the ground. Buffalo's let up 120, followed by Kansas City letting up 130. I think Kareem Hunt gets 100 yards and a touchdown to break out of this slump and make me right. This is definitely a candidate for what could be the ugliest game of the day. Miami at New England. I like New England, of course. Brady, of course. This is just chalk. I'm just taking chalk here. Brady will give him three touchdowns against these guys. And the Cutler isn't even playing. And when was the last time I said that as, like, a negative? Carolina at the Jets. I like Carolina in this game. Not because Olsen's coming back after the 10-week layoff. I think he's going to get used a little bit. But the Jets are letting up 120 yards on the ground. Run the ball. I like Stewart to get 75 yards and a touchdown. And Olsen will get in there a little bit. But I don't think he's getting, like, 180 yards and a touchdown. This is my second candidate for ugliest game of the week. Uh, <laughs> Chicago at Philly. This could get ugly. I'll put a Twitter poll up. I like Philly, of course. I think a Jai's going to get a touchdown because uh, they are the, the, the Bears are letting up. 106 yards on the ground. The Eagles don't have anything on the ground, and they tackle well. Seahawks at the Niners. A division game. Uh, I still like Seattle, even though it's a division game. Uh, they're not playing well, but uh, San Fran, they just... Uh, they just don't know what's going on yet. So we're going to take Seattle. We think Wilson throws a couple touchdowns, probably a late one to win the game. I think it's going to be closer than you think, though. But I still like Seattle. Okay, game of the week here. In my opinion, this is going to be game of the week. Uh, New Orleans at the Rams. I like the Rams in this game only because you had to play Minnesota. You lost. You had to go there and play and lost. Okay, now, okay, that's one of the top teams. Now, here's another top team coming in, and you have another top team that you're going to have to play in a few weeks. If you don't win this game... You're back in the hunt with, and now you're fighting for a division again. You have to fight. You're going to be fighting with Seattle. So you have to win this game. As tough as this game is going to be, you have to win it. So I like the Rams in this game. I like Gurley to get 100 yards and a touchdown. They're going to run the ball. The, uh, the New Orleans is letting up over 100 yards on the ground. So let's see what happens. Game of the week, I think, though. Okay, the Jags at the cards. Uh, I like the Jaguars. I mean, uh, the backup quarterback in... Arizona, it's not doesn't look good. 
uh, on, in fantasy. I like their defense. That's a viable option. Now. That's how good their defense is. They score touchdowns. So, um, yeah, I like both of them. Denver at Oakland. I like Denver in this game. I know, I know. I keep, I know, I keep picking Denver like they're going to win. But I think they got rid of the offensive coordinator, and now they're going to bring in someone. They're just going to run the ball like 500 times. Just do that, and you'll win. But I think they're going to throw one to Demarius Thomas. That's my fantasy guy for the week. Green Bay at Pittsburgh. This could have been a really good game. It's not going to be as good now. I still like Pittsburgh. Uh, I think Roethlisberger is going to get three touchdowns against these guys. You know, it's just, you know, it's, this is going to be one of those games. Oh, uh, it could have been something. Now it's going to be hard to watch. Houston at Baltimore. I like Baltimore at home in this game. This seems like a very meh Monday nighter. Uh, but I like Baltimore. I like, the, I think their defense is going to get a touchdown here. Again, there's, there's like three or four elite defenses that are just scoring touchdowns, you know, almost on a regular basis. And uh, Baltimore seems to be one of them. So, Take a look at team number one here. Uh, we've got Ryan going at quarterback. Everybody says he's going to do great this week. He's been between 18 and 22 points for 11 straight weeks. I don't see it changing. Two rookie running backs. Hopefully Kareem Hunt can come around. I have the, It looks like this team could explode. I don't know. He's got Breeze and Gurley in that same game. If that game goes crazy, I'm screwed. Uh, Jordan Howard, I have him in my other league. He's a good back. Doug Baldwin, he's okay. AJ Green's a big monster. We'll see. Team number two, I'm going against Matt Ryan here. Also against Doug Baldwin. Also on Jeffries playing against his old team. Wants to get a touchdown. Le'Veon Bell, second in the league in rushing. Uh, you know, you see, you see where I'm going with this? I have Newton, Hopkins, Richardson, Howard. I hope he does well. So that's the way it stacks up. We're 8-3 and three here. We're playing against the 8-3, and three, the other 8-3 and three team, and we're looking for the bye here. Haven't beaten this team in, like, 20 years. Ugh. But uh, comment. Let me know what you think about my chances. All right, we're going to move on to everyone's favorite part. Okay, this is quickly becoming not my favorite part of the show, but here we go. Fucking degenerate, you. Starting with the book he likes, the Jets plus five and a half. His number two pick is San Fran plus six and a half. And his number three pick is Arizona plus five and a half. They just, just give me the points. Just give me the points. The old man likes the points too. He likes Buffalo plus 10. He likes Tampa Bay plus 10. He likes more points. <laughs> He's like the book on steroids. And he likes Tennessee minus four on the road. Talkman pick of the week is... Atlanta. Atlanta minus 10. So if you want to make any money, go bet the other side. Go bet what the old man says. He says bet Tampa Bay. So go bet Tampa Bay. <clears throat> That's my pick. I'll keep my losing streak afloat. It'll probably turn out bad. I hope everyone had fun on Thanksgiving. I ate a ton. But I went to work the next day because I had to. And I, I started getting calls about Christmas. I went out. People were playing that, that Christmas music. This is what I call the full season. This is kind of where all the things that you didn't want to fill up you during the rest of the year, you fill up this time of the year. Your belly is always full around this time of the year. Oh, fuck off. I'm full. Oh. Your time is always full. Your car is always full. And your credit card is always full. So, in the season of giving, it's also the time of year where you start seeing more of commercials like this, with this kid in it. Yeah, he's so happy. He can't even walk, and he's so happy. I walk all the time, and I'm miserable. God, I, they'd shame you so much. <laughs> Just here, take my money. Put that, put, stop putting that kid's face up there. And then you don't forget about uh, these commercials. Ugh. So Hi, I'm Sarah McLaughlin. Oh my god, I can't stand that woman and her dogs. Ugh. That's, this is the worst part about this time of the year. 27, 28 times out of the day, you have to take 30 seconds out to feel guilty about yourself for having legs and not being a shivering puppy. Ugh. But obviously I'm kidding around. <laughs> I just give to the local animal shelter. I mean, come on, how can you not give to these guys?
Yeah, kitten video is going to happen eventually, so that's just the way that was going. Um, that's it. Have a good weekend. Good luck tomorrow, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Hey, thank you for listening. Don't forget to follow Talkman Radio on Facebook and Twitter, and kill that like button and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, everyone's team sucks but mine.